This week we are in a full-blown launch mode, and so I thought you might enjoy an episode all about how to create irresistible offers and what you can do to improve not just having a course, but actually having a complete offer for your students. Welcome to the Course Creators HQ Podcast, helping you navigate the latest techniques for creating and marketing online courses. And now, here is your host, Julie Hood. Hey, hey, good morning or good evening, wherever it is for you today. We are in full-blown launch mode for the 24-hour Course Creator Program for a couple more days And as I was offering it out this week, I thought, you know, it might be great for everyone who listens to the podcast to get some sneak peek background ideas into how you put together an irresistible offer for your potential students. So a lot of these same things have been what we've been using for the past couple weeks and trying to pull together uh, an even better offer. So first off, though, so you know, 24 Hour Course Creator Daily, it's the group program that I do. I only offer it a couple times a year and it's going to be open for just a couple more days through we start on June the 6th 2022 so make sure you get access to that if you're interested I'll put the link in the show notes or you can go to 24hourcoursecreator.com so you can see what we're offering Uh, hopefully I put together just this irresistible offer that you can't wait to get hold of so that's the goal Um, and then I have to mention really quick for everyone who's listening to this episode when it gets released we had so much fun on the topic entitled challenge last week that I decided to test out something new and we're going to do the similar type work but as a one-time workshop. So the topic and title workshop is going to be on June 2nd, 2022. So you can get to that at coursecreatorshq.com slash TT workshop, or I will definitely put this in the show notes um, in episode number 97. So coursecreatorshq.com slash 97 will take you uh, to all of these fun links that are going on. Okay, so trying to take your course and turn it into a full-blown, irresistible offer that your prospective students are just waiting to jump on and get into, you know, what are some of the things that you can think about in order to do this? And I should probably mention too, you don't need this to actually launch, like let's do that first launch and just get it out there. But when you're at the point where you're like, okay, now I need to step it up a level, Here's a few of the things that you can do. So start by thinking about what else it is that your audience needs to move forward. You know, what are the other pieces of the puzzle, the other things that they are going to have to figure out, use, learn, understand in order to move forward. So for example, with uh, my program, I know once people get their courses created, then they actually have to figure out how they're going to sell it. And in order to do that, there's some very specific pieces of the puzzle that can be helpful for that. One is email marketing. Another is putting together really good sales pages. And then the third one is figuring out joint venture partners and how you can work with them. And so for all three of those, I put together separate bonus courses that when people sign up for the 24 hour course creator, they also get those bonuses and they're able to um, move forward then because it's not just get my course created, it's now let me get started selling it. So think about what it is that your audience needs to move forward. So what can you offer as bonuses in order to help them get to that next level? Then look at 
obstacles <laughs> that are getting in their way and actually turn those into bonuses too. So some of the things that are pretty common when that happens is people thinking they don't have enough time. So I would make sure that in your promotion, you have some uh, discussion bonus, something around how they could fit into the time that they have, or maybe you even have a bonus that helps them with their time in order to be more efficient or uh, ways to eliminate some of the problems that they're having so they have more time. You know, there's lots of ways to help address that one. Another obstacle that can get in the way sometimes is people wondering if they can actually do what it is that you're talking about. So offering bonuses where they get time with you, where they get uh, their questions answered, those can also be really good bonuses to help when they get stuck, when they hit obstacles. Next, I want you to think about offering some fast action bonuses. And these can be really useful when you're using some kind of webinar or masterclass to sell your course and you want to offer some bonuses for people who step up and jump in right away. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can say, you know, everybody who signs up by the end of this call can get this bonus. I don't like that one quite as much because sometimes I give people access to the replays and then your bonus really isn't effective because you said, you know, it's only for the people on the call. So another way you can do it is offer bonuses for a specific time period or a specific number of people who sign up. So, um, for example, one of the big obstacles that I know can get in the way for my course creators can be their, their mindset issues and their mindset around money and selling. And so I have a, uh, coach, my actual, my mindset coach is going to do a free bonus class for the first 10 people who sign up. So I put that in my promotion as, Hey, you know, the first 10 people that sign up will get access to this incredible bonus. And the value of the course is almost as much uh, of that session with her is almost as much as the cost of the entire course. So it's a really great bonus, but I'm limiting that because, um, to only 10 people so we can keep it manageable for, um, Erica, for my coach to, do that, that session with everyone. So, uh, those fast action bonuses can be really, really helpful for that. Another one I offered that, uh, helped, especially at the beginning is the first five people that signed up, get access to work with my assistants, my VA to help them either with some of their graphics or some of the, um, work that they need to do to get their online course up and running. So that was also a really popular one to get the first five people in for that. And then I'm also offering one that's going to be a bonus just for today and back. So everybody who's already signed up, but then anybody who signs up today, I'm going to have another bonus that is uh, another program called Course Sales Boosters. So it's a hundred different ways that you can boost your sales. And so that's only going to be for the people who sign up today. Because sometimes um, people don't want to necessarily make a decision. And so by offering some of these bonuses, it really makes them decide one way or the other instead of putting off the decision. That's how you can use fast action bonuses to get them to move forward. And then the next thing to think about is the timing and the opening and closing of when your course is going to be available for folks, because you can use that also as as part of the offer. So think really thinking about um, your timing when you're putting your launch schedule together. So I'll give you an example of what I mean by this. So the first time I offered the challenge, I had told everyone that we were actually starting with the course on Monday. So the challenge, the last webinar for the challenge was on Sunday and then we were starting on Monday. And so that was 
a really quick turnaround. <laughs> it didn't give me any time in between there to follow up with some of the folks who were on the fence or kind of thinking about it or any more emails out to the email list. So I moved it out this time and I've got a week in between there so that I can use that time to connect with some of the folks who I think might be interested, aren't quite sure what they want to do. I'm going to offer that topic and title workshop just to see if I can snag a few more people who are um, a little too busy to be following everything and have been in all week. So you can see um, thinking about the opening and closing dates for your course can also be a really effective way to improve that offer. Okay, then next I want you to think about the more direct access and time that someone gets with you, the more the course costs. For, so, for example, when I'm pulling together just my DIY program, it's not as expensive because people can go and do that on their own and I don't have to spend any of my specific time with them to make that happen. So that cost is lower than when they're jumping in either for group coaching or to get one-on-one -on -one time with me, then I make the pricing higher. So that way you can sort of reach people at different levels depending on what their budget is. When you're putting your offers together, kind of think about, okay, how much direct access or time are they going to have with me and then uh, adjust your cost and your pricing for that. Uh, next up, think about how you want to work your payment plans. So payment plans can be really helpful to get more people to jump in. And we all remember at the beginning when you didn't have a ton of cash to be spending on things, you needed to sort of spread it out um, and, and spread out your payments. So a couple ideas on this, though, that I like to throw out. The first one is trying to make sure your payment plans coincide with the length of the course. So for example, um, the way this works is I start out with the beginning of the 24 hour course creator. We're working together every week. And then when we get to those extra bonus courses, those are monthly and get spread out over the next few months so that that way people who are on the payment plans are paying and receiving training at the same time. Because if sometimes when you have people sign up, the course ends and then they have to pay for months and months and months to go forward, that always can create some issues with with people getting feeling like they're paying but they're not receiving it even though they got all the course at the beginning um, it's much better if you can be giving them things at the same time as they're paying so just think about that a little bit when you're pulling together your payment plans and then the last thing I will offer when you're putting together your irresistible offers is to really focus on and to think about your uniqueness how is your program different than a lot of the other programs that are out there? So what do you do that is different than what you've seen out there? So I'll give you an example. Um, people in 24 hour course creator, they work directly with me. Uh, they are not working with my coaches or with other people. You know, I'm the one that's going to be helping and leading the sessions and answering questions and moving things forward forward, which is different than uh, some of the other trainings and courses that are out there. Sometimes those um, folks, especially the bigger experts, will have where you work with their coaches. And that's fine, and I may do that someday, but right now, that's not how we're working it. So um, that's one of the differences that I can say, you know, look, you're, you're going to get to work with me directly get very attached to my students and spend <laughs> wake up in the morning thinking about what I need to be telling them next. So um, that's just one way that I make my course a little more unique than some of the other ones that are out there. So spend a few minutes thinking about what is it that you could do 
to make your course unique, to make it different, and then really highlight those unique abilities so that when you're talking to potential students, you can focus on this is what's going to be helpful for you. This is what's going to be different. This is why you should pay to work with me. So um, hopefully these ideas give you some food for thought and you can mull over different ways to improve your course offers. And even better, you know, just test out some things. Try out some different offers and see which ones resonate and which ones don't. Because depending on um, your audience, there's so many variables that you can throw in that it you just have to keep trying things and, and see what works because there's so many different things that you can adjust. It's really hard to know for sure that this is the best offer that I can put out there. And sometimes you might get surprised by what um, hits and turns into a home run. But in the process, you can have a few singles along the way, get some sales coming in the door and reach your perfect students. So thanks so much for listening this week. I appreciate your earbud space so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for following. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for reviewing. The podcast is out to reach as many potential experts and coaches and consultants as possible. So I appreciate whenever you can share it and tell people about it. That is the best praise possible. So thank you. Thank you so much. And good luck with your offers. Let me know how they're going. I want to hear what's up for you and what's going on. And um, definitely check out the show notes if any of either the workshop or you're considering jumping in with us for the 24 hour course creator. It's going to be an incredible group of people. I seem to attract really fun and in great experts to work with. So I'm going to have a good time over the next uh, few months getting their courses up and running. And we'd love to have you come join us. Take care. Have a fantastic week and I will catch you on the next episode. 